I have no idea how it is in the country that you live in but in Denmark we have something between autumn and a little bit of a winter it's very cold it's very rainy it's very gloomy so I don't like the weather so I decided to attract spring and I can feel deep in my heart that spring is on the way so please help me attract spring with those fruity perfumes I chose from my collection and those are my favorite fruity perfumes so it doesn't matter if you're a huge fan of peach plum roses oh roses are not fruits and it doesn't matter if you're a huge fan of plum or maybe a peach because i have something for everyone so let's get right into it the first perfume is the perfume that i'm not a huge fan of but i cannot pretend that it doesn't exist because many of you are a huge fan of this scent and this perfume is valentino donna born in roma even though fragrante cast is something different for me is one of the most fruity perfumes that i own and i own only a sample because of the overload of the jasmine that this perfume contains i cannot stand it but anyway this is a very pretty feminine fragrance and for me it's still very very fruity according to Fragantica this perfume is not 100% fruity because it is woody vanilla fruity soft spicy and powdery but if you ask me it's only fruit and jasmine it has the most beautiful black currant note of course overloaded with jasmine I'm almost done with this sample because I was trying to convince myself that this is the perfume I will fall in love with but it never happened so I will just stop here so when I'm done with this sample this was the last time I will be trying this perfume but anyway this perfume has so many fans for for a reason. This perfume is extremely feminine, girly, playful and it's just perfect for autumn and winter and I know that we are trying to attract spring but anyway looking outside the window in Copenhagen it's extremely cold, it's rainy, it's very gloomy, it's not spring yet. I chose it to be my fruity perfume because of the top note of blackcurrant and bergamot and to be honest it starts very nice with all of those fruits but then jasmine hits and I can not stand it. It's only me, I cannot stand jasmine in the perfumes, but if jasmine is one of your favorite notes and if you're looking for a very nice compliment gather, very sexy, feminine, girly perfume with fruits, black currant, bergamot, I think that Donna Born in Roma would be your vibe. It also has vanilla in a base note, so there is something for everyone. So even though it's a very fruity perfume, it's also very cozy because of white flowers and vanilla in a base note. So I don't think you can go wrong with this perfume. If you can stand Jasmine, if you're a huge fan of this note, Donna Born in Roma will be your girl. I would describe a celestial longevity of Donna Born in Roma as moderate, so it will last on your skin for a few hours and then it will just disappear. But this is how it is. If you love the scent, you will just spray it. If you don't like it, you won't get it anyway, so problem solved. The next perfume I have for you is also extremely fruity and I was actually mentioning in my last video, it is my one of my favorites fruity perfumes and this is perfume that is very rich in cherry note and this is why I love it so much. I'm using it all the time when I'm going out especially during the night time because this is my go-to nighttime perfume when I'm looking for something fruity. Nighttime scents they can be very strong and very overwhelming but with this one there is something different because it is very fruity and also very strong. I can smell it on my skin for the whole night and it is just so beautiful. Compliment gather, especially from men. So I cannot keep a secret any longer and I'm talking about Jimmy Choo I want to forever. This is the most beautiful cherry perfume that I have in my collection. This is the nighttime version of my favorite perfume from Jimmy Choo I want to and this is a peachy one whereas this is a cherry one. So please don't mistake those two. They are both beautiful but they serve totally different purposes. This one, I was talking about it in my last video, so if you haven't seen this video, I will link it in the description down below as well as here. And now we are talking about this one, so focus. According to Fragrantica, this perfume is vanilla, sweet, almond, cherry, amber, nutty, rose, earthy, fruity, aromatic perfume. And I couldn't agree more because this is one of the most beautiful cherry perfumes. Even though in my last video I was talking about Jean-Paul Gaultier Labelle, this is also a cherry perfume, but this is a totally different cherry because for me the other one smells like cherry liquor, whereas this one, this is just the most beautiful cherry fruit. 
in a nighttime version. If you want everybody's mouth to be watering around you, you really need this in your collection. Everybody will be asking you what smells so nice. So if you want to smell like Sherry Sherry Lady, this perfume will make it happen. It is a truly compliment magnet and man magnet as well. So if you have been looking for a perfume that serves all of those purposes, plus you want to smell nice, cherry and attract spring to come, Jimmy Choo, I want to will be your boy. The slash and longevity on this one are amazing. I can smell myself for the whole night and everybody around me also can smell me. So this is a truly beast mode. And I remember once, once I was spraying it before going to bed and when I woke up, I was smelling like I just sprayed it five minutes ago on my skin. I can only recommend this one. You can never go wrong with this one. So if you don't have it in your collection yet, what are you waiting for girl? Just run to the store. You can always find it a very good price so just wait for a good offer i also bought this one on sale i don't regret so i think that you want as well the next perfume i wanted to show you is a perfume i am obsessed about and i was talking about it so many times and you know that this is my favorite and now i have a huge bottle because i made a backup i bought a hundred mil of my favorite miss you're absolutely blooming this one is a truly compliment magnet especially from men so be careful this is my go-to daytime scent i'm wearing this to work i am just obsessed with this one the silage and longevity are extremely good it's Dior so of course this is something that you are expecting here from Dior but I have a feeling that Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming is a beast mode this is the best performing Miss Dior from the whole range and this is also my favorite so you know what I mean. And according to Fragrantica, this is a fruity, rose, floral, sweet, woody, musky, soft, spicy, fresh perfume. And I couldn't agree more. I totally agree with everything Fragrantica is saying about this one. This is my baby. And this perfume is loaded with fruits with top notes of blackcurrant, pomegranate and raspberry. It's also a bit spicy because of the pink pepper. And it smells like caramelized rose because in the middle notes we have rose and peony. And this is a youthful yet elegant perfume perfume that can be worn for every single occasion. This is my go-to perfume, especially during the spring and summer. And even though this is the flanker, this is my favorite flanker from Miss Dior. So if it's been discontinued, I will be crying a lot. This is a very feminine fragrance. This is why men go crazy about it. It gets so many compliments. It is a truly head turner. And I am a bit biased about this perfume because this is my all-time favorite. I think that this is my fourth or fifth bottle. I am obsessed. It also leaves a huge trail of caramelized rose. So this is probably something that men are very crazy about. So be careful with this one. As I said previously, this is truly a beast mode on its own way. So if you want to smell like raspberry dream, you just found the perfume that will fulfill this wish. And please let me know if you heard anything about Miss Dior absolutely blooming being discontinued because I am very curious to know because if it is being discontinued, I think that I need to make another backup. The next perfume I wanted to mention is the perfume that you know very well and this is a musky vanilla sweet perfume loaded with plum and this is your favorite Mask Noir Rose by Narcisa Rodriguez. This perfume is very fruity with top notes of plum and bergamot and it also has pink pepper in the top note so it's also a bit spicy and it also has this very famous mask from Narcisa Rodriguez and as I said in my previous video Narcisa Rodriguez does masks the best. I think that it is one of the best perfumes with musk and fruits that has ever been done even though the longevity on this one is not the best you will need to respray it a bit during the day but if you love the scent it is truly worth it because this is truly a masterpiece a fruity musky masterpiece that you need in your collection this perfume truly is a man magnet and head turner it is so beautiful that i'm not wearing this to work because i don't want this effect on my colleagues but otherwise when i'm going out especially Especially during the night time this is my go-to scent if I want to smell elegant sexy and mysterious this also has vanilla in a base note so it has a really cozy and warm dry down who doesn't love vanilla so this is a truly beautiful perfume with plum pink pepper musk and vanilla so i am obsessed and i guarantee you you will be as well and even though longevity is not the greatest i need to respray it from time to time i don't regret having it in my collection the only thing i regret is that i bought very small bottle i need to correct myself very soon so if you want to smell like plum jam like something very mouth watering that everybody would love 
this is the perfume you need to go for. The next perfume I have for you is extremely fruity and if we want to attract spring together I think that this is the one that will attract even summer because this is loaded with strawberries and you probably know which perfume I'm mentioning right now because it can be only Burberry hair elixir. Unfortunately I still own only a sample but I need to get a bottle very soon because for me it smells like strawberry milkshake. This is the most creamy strawberry perfumes that reminds me about summer not only spring but if you want to attract spring we need to start a place and strawberries why not so if you're looking for a perfume that contains tons of strawberries and if you like lactonic notes and especially you love strawberry shakes you need this perfume in your collection this is a very fruity girly scent and even though the strawberries is everything i can smell according to fragrantica in top notes we have not only a strawberry but also a blackberry and middle note is jasmine base notes vanilla amber and sandalwood don't get me wrong, the strawberry milkshake is the only thing I could smell, so I'm not sure about all of the other notes, but if you smell something different, please let me know. I know that not everybody will agree with me on this one, but for me this perfume being a feminine, a very fruity perfume is also perfect for warmer weather and with the moderate silage longevity you need to respray it from time to time. I'm not sure if I will be wearing it during the summertime, but in the spring when the sun is shining, why not? In my humble opinion, this is the best flanker of the whole Burberry hairline. This perfume is also a huge compliment gather not only from men but also from women and I am also a huge fan of fruity perfumes so I totally get it. This perfume smelling like strawberries it will get compliments from left and right. Be prepared to it. Some people claim that it smells very synthetic but how it does supposed to smell? It's not a strawberry. If you want to smell strawberries just go to a grocery store. This is a perfume so for me it smells as good as it can and I'm not complaining this is one of my favorite perfumes and when I'm done with this sample I will definitely get a full bottle so if you want to smell fruity seductive like a strawberry shake you can never go wrong with Burberry hair elixir and please let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this scent do you think it smells synthetic or maybe it's okay and this is your favorite one because for me it's the most beautiful strawberry like creamy perfume on the market right now please let me know which perfume is your favorite and which perfume would you choose to attract spring with? I'm very curious to know as always. I'm always looking forward to comments you are leaving me under videos. If you're not subscribing, please do because I have more content about perfumes coming. Don't forget to like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!